Hi guys, it's Andrew here from Easton Made. We're going to take a look today at the overall chassis design of our splitters. You can see that our splitter is a lot more compact than the other commercial units. Um, most of them you see on the market today have a great big frame that holds the axle. Um, a lot of them will have springs and a lot of them will have a torsion axle on them. And that's great if you want to, uh, if you're planning on building a trailer, if you're planning on building something that's going to go 500, 1,000, 2,000, uh, 10,000 miles a year, then that's great. But we build a wood splitter. We, we build a machine. We build it around how it functions on a day-to-day -day basis in your operation. So as you can see, the axle is quite a bit narrower on ours. You can pull them both ways. Um, if you need to go down the road at 70, 80 mile an hour down the interstate, smooth going, you have no problem doing it with this machine. You pull it. From the splitter end, you have all the tongue weight. If you need to tow it around your yard, you pull the hitch out. It's just on a normal receiver. Slip it into the engine end here, and then you can tow it around your yard. You can tow it out of your wood pile. It's a really nice setup for that. Uh, the machine's small enough that it fits into your, into your wood shed. You can cover it easily. You can get out of the way easily. Uh, you can see here, too, that everything's pretty centered on it. You can actually pick these things up with a set of forks and move them around if you don't want to uh, uh, be hooking onto it all the time with a truck or a, or a four-wheeler a tractor or whatever you have. The other thing to take a look at is where the controls are on this machine. The controls are located in the middle of the machine. So if you're into normal 10-inch stuff, 15-inch stuff, you want to take advantage of that auto cycle on this machine. Just throw a block of wood in the log cradle and walk away. Um, there's nothing in your way here. It's nice and wide open. You can reach the controls. You can work around easily. Uh, that tire is set far enough back that you're not going to be rubbing up against it. You're not going to be brushing it all day. So that's a really important thing. Uh, the other reason we do this is because then you can run the machine from both sides. If you take a look at this, um, most machines on the market you're not able to, to roll a log on a log lift and then run it from the same side. This is really important because if you need to roll a log on that log lift and then run around the machine, run the block of wood through it, and then run back and load another piece of wood on it, you're taking a lot of extra steps every single day to be able to do that. It just, for, for me, it makes no sense to have a machine like that. You gotta be able to run it from both sides you got to be able to run it from the one side to make it efficient and you need to be able to run it from this side to make it user friendly. So as you can see, um, most machines will have that tire way out here by the log lift so you can't actually reach the controls even if they are in the middle. Um, most of them have the controls on the other side. Um, but you can take a look. Uh, I'm standing here uh, next to the tire. I can reach these controls easily. I can reach the log lift controls easily. I, I can easily pull a piece of wood back into the log cradle here and the log lifts right there and it's accessible. Um, you'll see other machines too that have the controls on the same side as the log lift and they're dedicated that way. But what you run into with a machine like that is if you've got to stand on that log lift and you've got to work around it all day, at some point you're going to be tripping and fumbling all over that thing. Um, I know I'm going to have a lot of guys saying, well, no, it, it's, it just sits here. Well, you know what, if there's something at your feet that you've got to step around or step onto, at some point you're going to be tripping on, at some point it's going to get aggravating. It's just, it's human nature. That's just the way it is, guys. Um, so that's what we have going on here. If you have any questions, give me a call. My cell phone is 613 812-3213. You can pretty well reach me here anytime. Uh, if I don't answer, by all means, just leave me a message. I'm probably out or I didn't hear the phone at all. So leave me a message. I will give you a call back. Check out our website. It's www.eastonmadewoodsplitters.com. Follow us on Facebook. Subscribe to us on YouTube. We put a bunch of videos up uh, both places, a bunch of different posts and stuff. So just take a look. And like I said, if you have any questions, by all means, please ask. And I'm more than happy to do whatever I can for you.